Hello students, welcome to Short Offset Classes. So, in this particular lecture, we will be solving the paper of TIA FAR of paper 2022. So, this question number 20 is saying that every subring of a unique factorization domain, this UFD, is a unique factorization domain, whether it is a true or false statement. So, first of all, we can take that any integral domain. which is not a EFD, the unique factorization domain, as a subring of its fields of fraction. Okay. So, for example, so consider that z is minus root over minus 5 as a subring of its fields of fraction that is q set of integers, so the set of rational numbers, so it will be this. So, this Z is a subring of its fields of fraction. Okay. So we can say that this statement is particularly false from this, which can be interpreted from this above statement. Also, we can take some another example. So we can take this as take ring as. So we can write it as take ring as the set of complex numbers and z we can define is minus 5 root over minus 5 okay so as it's sub ring so this is the ring c the cos set of complex numbers and this is the sub ring right so which is it is not a uft not a unique factorization domain as you can see that 9 can be written as 3.3 .3. okay so 9 can be written as 3 multiplied by 3 or it can be also written as 2 plus minus root 5 multiplied by 2 minus minus root 5. So factorization here you can say is not unique of 9. So if the factorization is done doesn't have a unique factor. But if the factorization is not unique then it is this is not a unique factorization so for our question number 20 we have this wrong uh, this this statement is actually false that every subring of a unique factorization domain is a unique factorization domain so that is not true for in all the cases so the correct answer will be false